So now I'm going to run you through what mixes I use and how I go about preparing them. So as you can see, dark fish meal, as it says on the packet, primarily fish meal. I like to use this for big fish, so I use it on the tip and also on my long line, looking to catch bream and skimmers. I do like to mix that the night before at home just to make it inert, save me a bit of time on the bank. As you can see, this is the one that I prepared last night, ready to go. And for the shorter line, I like to fish for roach and pommies, and you might even pick up the odd skimmer. For that, I like to use black roach. Quite sticky, full of particles such as hemp and coriander, everything that roach love. So now I'm going to run you through it, how I prepare it. Enter the full bag into the bucket. And to that, add a little bit of water at a time. Unlike fish meal, it doesn't take on a lot of water, so it's very easy to overdo it. So it's better to go a little bit at a time and mix it in. As you can see. Just keep adding bits at a time until you feel the mix will go quite sticky. Starts to change colour and get a little bit darker as well, that's when you know that it's working. So now as you can see, it forms a nice tight ball. So now I'm going to run it through a riddle. So I transfer the mix into another bowl. Get my riddle, tip it on. Then if you just shake it through, work it and it will go through. Run the arms through it. So now that's all done, I'll go over to my box, show you what particles I add to the mix before cupping it in. So now I'm going to run through what particles I put in what mixes and how much I feed. So this is the, the dark fish meal I made last night. To that I've added some fluoro rocks. So literally just a sprinkle, don't have to overdo it. Good thing about the fluoro rocks is that they're really heavy. So unlike if you put pinkies in your mix, when the current, especially on, on the junkie like here, it can pull quite a bit. So the fluoro rocks stay on the bottom, whereas the pinkies might wash out of your swim. So a great addition to your bait. To that, I'm going to add some chopped worms. So I like to not chop them too fine, just give them a few because there's some quite big bream in here and skimmers you don't want to go mincing the worms just a few chops and I like to add them bit at a time as I'm feeding because if I put it in now I can't control how much I put in the swim so I like to do add bits at a time when I'm actually feeding so I know exactly how much I've put in and the way that I feed that is I'll put one litre in so four cups I'll make four flat ones put them in there add my bait to it and then make balls and cup them out so that's the, the dark fish meal. On the roach mix, I'll be putting in 1.25 litres, so five cups. Run you through that now. One, two, three, four. So five cups. To that, I'll add 250 ml of emp. Drain the juice out. Roach love hemp, so I like to give him a lot of hemp. And to that, I just literally add a splash of pinkies, just so there's the odd one in there, as I will be feeding pinkies over the top. And then mix it all round and then you're ready to make your balls so let's get putting some bait in
So there you go, another fish. So today's session has gone pretty much as I thought it would, to be honest. Caught a few better fish earlier on, on the tip. Um, just using red worms as hook bait, tipped off with a, a pinky. So I've caught that. I didn't leave it too long, about 40 minutes or so. And it started dying down, so I thought I'd give it a rest. Then I've moved on to the short line where I've caught quite a few smaller fish just on pinkies, double pinkies. Been feeding hemp and pinkies over the top all day. And I thought I'd have a look on the longer line while I knew there were fish there on the short line still. So on the longer line, it wasn't what I thought it would be. There were a few smaller fish there, but none of the bream. But to be honest, conditions like this, you're not really like going to have big hits of bream. It's too sunny. We have seen quite a lot of cruising around, which shows that they're not on the bottom. On that longer line, I fished a worm topped off with a pinky, as I did on the feeder. I've had a few, a few little skimmers on it, but odd perch, no big fish. So I've come back on the shorter line, and there I've caught on emp a bit later on, just putting emp on the on the hook from out of the straight out of the tin, and um, alternating between pinkies and maggots to keep bites coming. There's always been fish there; it's just a case of alternating your rigs. Sometimes I've had them on strung out rigs, while other times it's been better to bomb it through and get to the bottom to catch some slightly better fish. Hope you've enjoyed it, and now we'll take a look at what I've caught. So there you have it, even in tough conditions like we've got today, double figure nets are still achievable if you fish it the right way. Caught got a decent bream, a few nice roach. As you can see, there's quite, quite a lot of fish there. Let's get them back. <laughs> 